beginning of our studio drawing that we'll be doing for a while. And the hand is the first project and you do the shoe next. So I'll show you some examples and we'll get right to it down on the table. All right. Here's one that I already started working on last year. So I have my hand in a circle and a band-aid. So if you have any uh, bracelets or band-aids or you want to put your, your shirt on there, that's cool too. And here's me fading this from here to here. So I just got a little bit more to go, but let's start from the beginning so you can see how to do that. So the first thing we have to do is, is decide what hand shape do we want to try to draw. The only thing I'm requesting is that we don't go flat. No flat hands. Still has some shape, but so I'm gonna do something like this. So we have some curled back, some straight out. Like that. You can do the gun. This spider's kind of fun because you get cool shadows you can do. It really creates a 3D look. Um, let's just do this right here. Yeah, maybe like that. Alright, so I want to try to draw it exactly the size that it is. <coughs> If I need to, I can, I mean, you can even lightly skit an idea, if you call that cheating, I don't know. I know, in junior high, we struggle, now that thumbs, certain things look really wrong, so sometimes that doesn't work. But, it give you the general size much better. So, we want to keep white paper around the whole hand, okay? I'm going to start here and then start making it better than a, my normal tracing job. There's the knuckle. There's some wrinkles, you know. There's the thumb. Got the nail here. My thumb. Like that. straight lines anywhere on the human body. Everything's always curved. Make that skinnier than my head. Mm -hmm. 
shorter. You've got it basically drawn. You can, uh, think about shading. <clears throat> shading is just like when you did a, um, anyways, a cone, a cylinder. The whole hand is a cylinder. So go dark to light. Think of the whole hand like that, the wrist at least. Now we're gonna have a highlight that comes around the wrist, or the palm, I'm sorry, the palm, out to here, out this finger, across the middle of these, and on the nails, those are your highlights. We can look at the uh, finger over here. It's a pretty soft pencil I was sketching with. away from you is getting darker. Kind of the rule, if it curves away from you, it's getting darker. And then you don't even need to look at your hand in a room like this where it's lights coming from everywhere. I don't have good shadows and darks. I'm just going to follow a general rule of shading. If it curves away from you, it's getting darker. The part that's facing right up towards you, that's the highlight. Alright, so you do stuff like that. tool. And roll up some paper if you have to. The key with these things, the, the, the lead has to be here in order to smear it. You can't drag it out here and try to smear it all over out somewhere else where it's not. All the way, all the way a little bit there, but it'll suddenly be gone. It doesn't work. Alright. Soften all this up. That's what's nice about these, it softens everything. So it's pretty dark. <coughs> I'm sick at this moment. So we just do the whole thing that way. And the time lapse it.
wrinkles back in there. I'm really trying to make it come alive. 